Hello, my rock star shoppers. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to take you shopping with me to Big Lots. Have not been in a really long time, and I love looking at their home decor. I'm sure you do too. But we're really going to focus on some unbeatable furniture deals. I saw some really beautiful pieces here. And also, we're going to take a peek at a big buyout Big Lots did of Target brand housewares. And so we're going to check that out. Keep watching. They've got some gorgeous stuff from Target. And we're going to check that out too. So Big Lots purchased Broy Hill in 2019 and over the last several years they've really grown the brand in their store. They've even redesigned their whole floor layout to accommodate this branding and they're offering some gorgeous interior furniture. Their sectionals are really stylish, really good prices. I mean this is like discount furniture shopping but you're getting the quality of the Broy Hill brand and I was really surprised that this huge sectional was just at the thousand dollar price point this setup right here I love this ottoman it was $199.99 so $200 I've seen these ottomans upwards of five seven hundred dollars in places like Ashley Furniture or Raymore and Flanagan and they're the same quality and this sectional was beautiful look at that under a thousand dollars for the whole thing 974.99 my only question is everybody watching out there have you ever purchased furniture from big lots and if so how does it work do they deliver it do you have to pick it up yourself do they charge a delivery do they even offer it i mean comment below i'm really curious from anyone who's purchased a furniture item from big lots please tell us how it works because I, there was no sales associate for me to to ask and I looked online but I couldn't find any information but anyway this dark ch charcoal I'd call it gray sectional $1,100 that's a great deal for this huge piece of furniture that's insane I've seen these again upwards of the three four five thousand dollars in Ashley Furniture, Raymore Flanagan, their beds, they had gorgeous beds. So they only had the, I'm going to say the twin bed version on display, but the pricing they're showing, I think is mostly for a queen. And then the king and the double and twin are in the smaller print. So the queen was $349 for that really rustic, solid wood headboard. I thought that was a great deal. You get the frame with that. And then I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the quilted headboard look, but they were offering this large bench. Now that was a bench that was big enough, $159.97 for a king size bed. That was a king size bed with bench. That's a great deal for a beautiful Broyhill bench. I mean, these prices are really good. So that, that was $479 for the king, $399 for the queen. Then they had this, this was a storage bed, so that's why it was more expensive. It looks like it was $639 for the king. Yep. And I believe it was five five nineteen for the queen. But I didn't I didn't really get a good shot of it, but you'll see that a little bit. But there's drawers on the end of it. If you yeah, see those drawers? They pull out. It's a whole storage thing. So that's a great feature to have if you are tight on storage this one was like a very hotel looking one look at the little lamps on the headboard I don't know if I like that probably not I probably hit my head on it <laughs> right but most of us sit up in the middle of the night and you're banging your head on that so but it was cute like a hotel it looked like a hotel 
type bed. All right, these were my favorite. Oh my word, look at the nail head detail and the shades option on it. I love this one, this cream colored one. The fabric was really thick. I think it came with those pillows too. It was gorgeous, I want this in my house. I thought that was a great deal. Yeah, that was a great deal. That was $5.84, you guys, that's amazing. That's like Facebook Marketplace prices. I mean, that's for a brand new Broyhill sofa with a shade. This one was $7.99. And I don't know why it was so much more because it looked nearly identical. In fact, it had less, less style to it, in my opinion, because of the nail head. Maybe it was slightly bigger. Anyway, yeah, so that's the furniture. I would not sleep on furniture at Big Lots, but I'm super curious how it works for delivery because that must be an obstacle for some people to purchase there if they don't offer delivery. So I find it hard to believe they don't. But if you know, if you know, tell us, comment below. So I took a quick browse through whatever they had left for patio. I just... I just made my patio over. I did a video on the evergreen uh, plantings portion of it, but I bought a new patio set. I got new cushions. I went all out this year. I, I really did. So I don't have anything to set my table with. So I was kind of browsing for pieces that I could use for dining outside, but I didn't really see anything that made me really want to get it. These look very 70s, right? That was very... They were like, it was called Blanco glass, the real deal from the 70s. But yeah, they had they had some glassware, some plastic wear left, but nothing that I really felt motivated enough to decorate my table with. I missed the boat on that one. I did a video on this way back in April when they had a full inventory of all this stuff. I should have bought it then. I didn't because I wasn't sure what I was doing, but oh well. They had some really cute planters. These planters were actually really nice. I mean, I've seen some really not so aesthetically pleasing if you will but the prices i mean while their furniture was amazing deals these these other like home decor pieces i thought were really high priced i mean just for me maybe maybe not but to me they seemed like they were 10 to 20 dollars more than what i would expect i don't know why but they were nice i mean they had a really nice modern selection but i mean this little wooden plant stand was like $50. I don't know. That seemed like a lot. I mean, I thought I, I would pay like $35 for that. I don't know why it was $50. This bicycle was like $70. That's a lot. I was like, hmm. It's cute. It's cute. But it, it seemed like a lot. And then $63 for this three bin kind of galvanized bin planter. So I would wait for these to go on sale. I'm sure they will at some point in the season, but they were very pretty to look at. I did love the style. I love this rattan one. Very nice. And I thought that was a good price too. Not too bad. Also the artwork, shockingly nice. I better than Target. I mean, and the prices were actually on these items, the prices were excellent. So most of the bigger pieces were $16 or less. And the smaller pieces were like around the 14, 12 price point. So I thought that was very fair. I thought that was pretty nice. And they had some really pretty options. They really did. So I am going to thumb through these and give you guys a look.
So that artwork was really pretty, right? It was. I really enjoyed it. And I always like to check out their little bit of home decor that they carry just because they usually have some really cute pieces at really good prices like this rope wall art i i thought it was really cute and that little mirror back there that little starburst mirror it was really cute so i think this one was i want to say it was 14.99 i think that was a really good price for that and they had some smaller little pictures i like using these little smaller pieces in my built-in bookcases sometimes it's nice to add a little piece of artwork in there that silver dollar piece was beautiful so again yeah you can see the Broyhill name everywhere so they not only carry the Broyhill furniture but they carry uh, Broyhill home decor branded items so they're really all in with the Broyhill well of course they own it now so this was really pretty this reminded me of a lot of artwork you see in Hobby Lobby oh my god is that a pumpkin are we doing pumpkins this early I saw that pumpkin it was like June 1st when I did this I mean wow okay all right we're gonna overlook that because that's way way too soon and they had some really cute pieces in their clearance don't sleep on their clearance they had some really nice pieces this was a five candle holder taper holder I love that I put that on my table $13.97 for that piece it was really cute and they had some artwork in there that's beautiful this dried grasses or wheat wall art and those were really pretty colors very pastel really nice yeah so I always like to check out their home decor their full price their clearance stuff like that I like looking through it it's fun let's see 9.97 yeah you know if you're in the market for a little small stuff like this I don't think I would get any of the the fake flowers here because really once you once you start buying these these faux flowers in places really deeply discounted you get what you pay for they look pretty fake so I usually pass on the fake floral stuff but I'll look at all the other stuff it's fun to look at for sure I I, I love these candles that are in these dobles these wooden dobles I think they look so they're so leveled up from a jar candle I love them I love them I will say though these were not heavily scented candles I did check a few out and they really weren't that heavily scented okay here we go here's the target stuff hearth in hand mm-hmm yep they had a whole big display of closeout target household items they had home decor they had a lot of kitchen stuff they that's also that's a threshold bowl I think this cutting board was threshold so this would be about $30 in Target it was $14.98 here in Big Lots they had some blinds I think they're everyday living brand they had a ton of curtains so if you this is threshold you can see the little key branding if you need heavy cotton or linen panels they had a lot of neutral cotton linen uh, curtain panels they had a lot of throws too if you I mean they were probably winter throws but these panels this was Opal House yep so it was 1998 these are about $29 per panel in Target so you're definitely saving money here and they had quite a few to choose from at least the day that I went I mean I wouldn't sleep on this I would totally go these I didn't recognize I think they just threw these in these look like almost Polish pottery right but all this was Target. They had their um, Room Essentials brand. They had quite a few sheet sets. So this was two pillowcases for $9.98. They had a ton of these linen sheet sets. I think this was Casa Luna. I know, I know eventually I do find the tag on these, but these were the Casa Luna linen sets. Now these are about $125. Well, actually I'm talking about the King. This must've been a twin set. So I know it says Casa Luna. I think I find another tag where you, there you go. Casa Luna. So that's definitely Target. The Casa Luna is really expensive in Target. And they also had the Kind brand, which is their uh, certified organic sheet sets. Those are the ones that are like 100, 150 in um, Target full price. So they were at a huge savings. They had comforter sets. So I think these were, I wanna say these were Magnolia. Oh, hearth and hand yep so with magnolia so these were the hearth and hand comforter sets 
They had different sizes. They had queen, twin, king, um, and furniture. You guys, I featured this exact chair. It was like $350. I, I have a video with this as the thumbnail. It's hilarious. So this was $179.98. Oh my God. So that's, they definitely had a lot of Target stuff in here. I would, if you're really into Target home decor, which I am, who isn't, right? I would go to your nearest big lots and see what they have left. It's going to sell out fast. I don't know how much, you know, the stores day by day, I'm sure their storage bin system, $69.98. These are definitely well over $100. There's a sign there, major retailer, blowout. Yeah, this was awesome. That was a great find. That's a really good find. Those are well over $100 in Target. Those are like $150 easily in Target, easily. So yeah, a couple games and stuff like that. I mean, still all from Target, but I wasn't really into it. More like kid stuff, all from Target. They had a lot of kids clothes from Target too. The Cat and Jack, I think it's called. Am I, am I saying that right? something like that it's i know it's something like that but they had a lot of kids clothes too all right well it's time for me to go i hope you enjoyed watching what was new and exciting at big lots i love this store and thank you so much if you could give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you liked what you saw and heard i would super appreciate it and i will see you real soon in my next one